I do not know how that became such an iconic line. It's just insane. Eileen, I know you, you that you said you're on set. How much fun is it getting back into the role as Kristen in Beyond Salem? Well, actually, I am on set for Young and Restless today. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. I, I am aware. Um, but it was, it was so much fun for me to be able to play Kristen again. It, I love the character. I mean, clearly, I you know helped create her. Mm -hmm. So um, it was just, it was great for me to have that opportunity. Definitely. And it's such fun. a fun way. Is it fun jumping back and forth? I know that you kind of go on Young and Restless every now and then, too. So is it fun kind of jumping back and forth and kind of um, yeah. having... Go ahead, go ahead. It is. It, I think you're going to say it. It's like the best of, of all worlds, mm -hmm. and it really is because I mean, I, I have um, you know my freedom, but I also you know get paid, and <laughs> I get to kind of you know visit these characters that I originated. So it, it is fun. Definitely. Well, I mean, what made you want to come back and do Beyond Salem? Um, a couple of things. Well, like we just talked about, I love the, the character Kristen, yeah. and somebody else is playing her on the day-to-day -day mm -hmm. at Days, so, um, which is great. And uh, this was a way for me to be able to come back and play her without having to commit to anything. And also I got to work with Lisa again. Yeah. And uh, that was just so much fun. And when they, they said they were doing this little spoof of the Housewives, I was so excited. I mean, I just thought it would be such a great thing. And, and I think the fans of Housewives really got a hoot out of it. Like, we oh, did, we just thought it was hilarious. Definitely. Is it ever weird being on set of Young and the Restless and seeing somebody else play that character of Kristen and you're like, hmm, maybe you should do this th this way or things like that. It's weird when I'm on days. I know it's confusing. Oh, yeah, sorry. Days. Yes. I, I haven't watched, frankly, a lot of what okay. Stacey has done, but I've known her for years because I did work with her when she was on The Young and the Restless. Mm -hmm. And I think she's a terrific actress. And I, I know from having to take over a role from other people, it's such a horrible thing sometimes. And you just really have to make it your own. And that's what she's done, which is which is what you need to do. So, and I think she's done a great job from what I've heard. Definitely. What did you, what did you miss the most about playing this role? Oh, the freedom. You know, she's a baddie and she's a badass. So, there's a lot of fun in playing a character like that. Ashley's not so much like that. And and Kristen is really kind of a, a once in a lifetime role because she is such a nutcase mm -hmm. and she rationalizes everything she does. You know, so she kind of feels like she's the victim, mm -hmm. um, even though she's done all these horrible things to people. So she's so multifaceted. She's very insecure. She's very vulnerable, and yet she comes off like she's just a bitch on wheels, which she is. But she's also all of those other things, which which makes her so much fun to play. Yeah, it's got to be a, an absolute blast. And I know that you said in an interview that you were able to kind of take a little bit more liberties with the show since it was on a streaming network. So how so? Um, well, I think the show itself did. I'm not sure my character did as much. Okay. But Beyond Salem, well, certainly did with the shower scene mm -hmm. with the guys and just it was things were a little bit sexier. And, mm -hmm. and the fact that, I mean, we were a little bit more tongue in cheek than usual, too. So that freedom came with being on, on streaming, I think, and, and being able to bring in the housewives the way we did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, talk a little bit about that. Like, did you know, did you have any input on that? D did you kind of uh, help bring you know, that to life? Bit, I think they pretty much knew what they were doing. But I mean, certainly, I remember when I got the first script, I said, where's we got to have the beast line in there. And Lisa and I both were texting. We're like, well, the beast line has to be in there. And then I texted Ron, the head writer. He goes, even as you're saying, you're texting me, we're putting that in. So everybody was on the same page at the same time. We all knew that had to be in there. Yeah, well, I mean, sad, but true. I mean, really <laughs> sad, but true. <laughs> I don't know how that became such an iconic line. It's just insane. You totally, know? totally. Did that? Do people like come up to you and say that to you all the time? Oh, it's like the, yeah, it's like the thing. I'm like, really? When it first started happening, I was like, this is what's resonating after all the years I've been in this business. Crazy. <gasps> 